and welcome back. All right, because Mandy is here hosting with me today and cocktails are her specialty, I asked a little favor if she would make one of my all-time favorites, so simple, an espresso martini. So yes. walk me through this process of how you make it. All right, first off, I feel so much more comfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, in, I'm in, yes. my, in my area, so now I'll probably really screw something up, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so I, of course, since I love 417 and yeah. everything local, I really like infusing my vodka for this drink. Okay. So in the kit that I have, I have an infusion. Mm. It includes um, espresso beans from Kingdom Coffee because Kingdom. they're just two doors away from yes. me. Yes. And then it also has cocoa nibs from Ascanose mm. Chocolate. Okay. And then um, vanilla beans that I get from Mama Jeans. I love it. So for that, you fill vodka up, okay. and then you let it sit anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple days. Which is where we land with so this. So that's kind of yeah, here. Yeah. And then when you it gets to the point that you want, you'll strain it out, and then you've got here. Boom, 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 I love so that So that's what we're gonna that use process. to make our drink. Okay. All right, so you're gonna have this shaker, Okay. and I'm gonna have this shaker. Okay. But first, I always forget this. If anyone's ever been in my mixology class, they're gonna know <laughs> that I always forget this. Let's put that's okay. some espresso vanilla bean sugar on the rim okay. of our coupe glass. Okay. So we're just gonna take the lemon, rub it on the outside rim, and then we will dip it in our little glass, Okay. like so. Perfect. Just Mine is really clumpy and not very pretty, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, now back to our shakers. <laughs> You've got your jigger here. I have okay. my jigger here. They're both jiggers. They're just different, okay. different styles. Perfect. So we're gonna do anywhere from an ounce and a half to two ounces of the vodka. Okay. And that's our infused vodka. And then we have this great cheeky espresso syrup. And we're going to do three-fourths of an ounce of it. Okay. And it is just so delicious. Cheeky is a great company. They use local products to them. They're out of New York. Mm, okay. All right. And then you got to give it a smell because I will just immediately wake oh, you up. Oh, yeah. No, that smells yep. delicious. That smells okay. like heaven. I'm excited. Okay. And then we are going to shake that up. Cool. Shaking is going to obviously chill our drink, but mm -hmm. it's also going to aerate it, okay. and it's going to dilute it just a little bit. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's on there real tight, and then we're gonna shake. And we wanna imagine the ice hitting every part of our shaker. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Love shake, it. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> All right, normally you wanna shake for about 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, but I can only imagine what that sounds like on live TV. <laughs> All right, That's so okay. you're gonna keep your lid just like that because you have the strainer built in. Okay. I'm gonna put the Hawthorne strainer on it. And then we can do the fancy like so. This adds more aeration and more bubbles. Now, as beautiful That's as true. that looks, everybody loves a good cold foam. Oh, absolutely. So we've got Highland Dairy half and half right there. I'm going to add for both of our drinks, I'm gonna add about <laughs> half ounce of that okay. um, espresso syrup. Love it. And then we're just going to use our A frothing frother. wand. How fun is this? We're gonna froth it up until it's nice and frothy. And like, to be honest, I probably haven't used this frother since the winter. <laughs> and I feel like it's struggling a little bit right that's now. That's okay, but, hey, that's know, totally fine. That's what happens. So we're gonna get some amazing cold foam. Okay. It's gonna be like the espresso flavored. We're gonna wanna probably do that a little bit more than normal. But then we can take our magical bar spoon. Love it. Spoon it over top. I have no idea how to do latte art. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, you're just gonna drink fine. it anyway, that's so it doesn't true. really matter, it's okay. And then you should always do five espresso beans okay. for good luck. Five. I don't know why, but I read that once, so okay. I repeat it to everyone I talk Two. to. Let's see, three, four. I think that's five. And then I always like to give it a little stir. Okay. Some people like the whole little droopy action. Yeah, I think I like the way mine looks. Yeah. I think it's pretty. All right. Okay. Can we cheers to like so far I haven't screwed anything? Yes, yes. we have to cheers. Okay. Cheers. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for being here, Mandy. Mm. Mm. Yes. That is delicious. And here's the thing. People at home can make this too if they just come in your store and buy one of these kits yes. and you'll, have, you'll set them up and they'll yeah. be good to go. It's perfect, yeah. I really love when people come in the shop, we talk cocktails, yes. sample things, whatever. It's good stuff. Thank you Proud so much. You. Yep, thank you.